All right, so Mutant Mayhem is now out in theaters. It's been out for a day now. I've seen it three times. I went to an early screening last Saturday. That's why I already had my review up. Uh, I went to an early screening Monday night, and then I went yesterday after work. I watched it three times, and I decided I wanted to do a full-on spoiler review. I touched upon spoilers in my first review. I didn't really do a full-on spoiler review. So I guess I want to sit down and talk about spoilers for a minute. Um, yeah, I thought this movie was really good for the most part. I, I had some issues with it as a Turtle fan. But I also, as I stated before in my review, it could go up or down. And right now I'm still feeling pretty high on the movie because I've seen it three times. And I feel like it has grown on me the more times I've watched it. Keep in mind, my review was posted after me seeing it one time. Where now I've seen it three times. So, you know, I still feel like my review score was a 7. I feel like it's closer to an 8 now that I've seen it a couple times. Um, but, yeah, let's get into the, the spoiler talk. So one thing I missed and did not talk upon in my original review is that there is an end credit scene. I did not realize there was going to be an end credit scene. So I left the movie twice without seeing it and then... I was like, oh, when I went to go watch it third time, I knew it was there. And I was like, all right, let me see what this is all about. And it was basically the turtles kind of dealing with the... It's cute little stuff. You get, you know, April and Leo going to prom or whatever. It's like friends or whatever. There's a great joke where Leo asks her out. And then he's like... And she's like, this is just his friends, right? And he's like, uh, what? It's like, that was, that was a great joke. Uh, and the other turtles are kind of fitting into their little thing. Raphael being going into a wrestling team and stuff. That's cool. A lot of great jokes with that. Um, and then you get um, their next story that they're working on, which is which is um, the heads of TCR. Hi, and we cut to TCRI, who are like, hey, look, it's gonna be ha harder than ever to capture these turtle people and keep them in our thing. Get us the shredder. And then you get a glimpse of the shredder, cuts to credits. So, um, I did like that this movie had a very unique, um, kind of story with it where this movie is about the turtles growing up and wanting to be part of the human world. I just don't know how I feel about that because so much of turtles lore, if you read the comics, if you watch the cartoons, if you watch the movies... It has been, we remain in the shadows. You know, in 2012 series, one of the first few episodes is them going up into, up top, you know, in the sewers, right? They they do that, and, you know, they learn that they, remain, they have to remain in the shadows. Yeah, there's things that happen, things like that. You know, the turtles have always been in the shadows. So them going to high school at the end of this movie, right, and them you know, being heroes, it's something unique and different, and I would like to see what they do with it, but it's also really bizarre, just as a Turtles fan, and I don't know how to react to that feeling yet, of it being so unique and different, um, but I, you know, I did really like Superfly, as I mentioned in my review, I am disappointed that he was not Baxter Stockman a little bit, in fact, some of the toys apparently came out, and they actually have him designed as if he was originally going to be Baxter Stockman, which he was. And I, that's cool. I don't, I actually, my only thing about Baxter Stockman is he has to come back. First of all, Gene Carlo Esposito is great casting as a Baxter Stockman, right? He's an incredible actor, but, and he does a great job as that character. But we also don't see a body, so I'm assuming he's going to come back. You know, if they just killed him off in this movie, that is such a waste of such a great character. In fact, that's a, one of my biggest issues with this movie, honestly, watching it again, is all these mutants, they've cast all these celebrity voice actors who all do great jobs. Most of them I did not recognize. The only ones I recognized were John Cena and uh, and Seth Rogen. But even then, I didn't really recognize John Cena until after the fact, but he kind of sounded like John Cena. But the rest of them, like Post Malone as... I didn't realize that was that. I didn't realize that um, a lot of these characters were all these celebrity voices, right? So for me, it was like, okay. But the problem was with it was like, okay, you got all these characters who do like nothing in the movie. They kind of 
didn't really need to be in the movie. I felt like they boggled the movie down a little bit where these are characters that would be better in the two season show coming out, not so much this movie because essentially we have this movie where I feel like it is too fast paced. We don't get enough development with the turtles. We don't get enough development with Master Splinter and this stuff as much as we probably should have sat with those moments. They're kind of brush past really quick and you know and I wish it kind of would have sat with me a little bit better but otherwise I thought this movie was a lot of fun I like that it's unique and different right it's we're in the age of franchises where everything's just like god why are we still doing all the same shit right this is great for me that to see them do something unique and different um so yeah I I don't know I think it's there's a lot here to like I'm just not sure how to feel about everything right now. I There's a lot here in this movie that I want to wait and see what they do with the other series and shows and movies. Right, they've already greenlit a sequel. It's pretty obvious this movie's going to be a huge hit. I mean, came out on Wednesday, so it's going to have a five-day weekend in total. It's going to make a shit ton of money, and then it's, you know, only cost $7 million to make, so, you know, if this movie makes about $300 million, it's pretty much in the clear, right? Um, it will make probably more than that, but still, you know, it's gonna do a great job. And it's, and yeah, I thought this movie, I thought it was a great time. I'm just curious to see what they're gonna do with some of this shit. I, I, I just, I, you know, and again, I wasn't a big fan of the big kaiju ending of the movie with like Superfly. I'm like, really? Just, you know, that and that kind of stuff didn't feel like the Ninja Turtles to me, but. Eh, it's fine. Kids are going to enjoy this movie. Older fans are going to enjoy this movie to a level, right? There is some things that they change and do certain things, and you're going to feel what you're going to feel about that. But I think majority of older fans I've talked to liked this movie.